In this tutorial, we're going to start a platforming game. Now, right here, I have two different sprites. A dude, which is a dude, looks like a pretty average dude. He's got some sunglasses, so he's pretty cool. Then we also have a level. It's just a level. Um, scientific stuff. Let's get into making the dude do stuff. Okay, first let's just have him go to zero, zero when the project first starts, as it will just give us a nice reset point. Now we are also going to go to variables, make a variable. I'm just going to do for all sprites. Now I'm going to do Y velocity and then click OK. Now what we're going to do is just set Y velocity to one. Now what I'm going to do is make a block named platform and I'm going to add an input and I'm going to call it gravity and then this block here that says run screen without refresh I'm just going to click that and then click OK okay so now what we have is the definition of this block so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a forever loop and forever execute this block and for the gravity I'm going to do negative one now what we are going to do is change Y velocity by gravity and change Y by Y velocity now what this will do is if we show y velocity right here first he'll change his y by zero then he'll change it by negative one then negative two which is a little bit bigger negative three negative four so the longer he's in the air the faster he goes down so if we do that now as you can see it gets that smooth motion where he speeds up the longer he's not on the ground, which is what we want. But now he's just gliding through the platform we have. So what we're going to do is we're going to do if touching level, then let's say we're right here. We want to repeat until not touching level and we just want to change Y by one and put that in here. Then lastly, we want to set Y velocity to zero. So now, as you can see, he interacts with the floor. And what he is doing is if we set the Y to 100 and give him a lot more of a space to drop, what will happen is if we, if we right click and click edit on our block and we don't run screen without refresh, what this will do is you see that if he senses he's in the middle of something, he will repeat until it's not touching level and he'll change his Y position so he comes up flush with the platform. And then we set Y velocity to zero just to re reset it so that he's not falling 16 pixels when he's on the ground. Now what we can do is if key up arrow is pressed, then we can simply set Y velocity to 10. And what will happen is if we press the up arrow, then he will jump when he's on the ground. And let's also put run screen without refresh back on. Nice and perfect. Now, we start to run into a problem if we introduce platform above our player and give him a little bit of those black man hops where he can jump further by setting his jump height to around 15. What will happen is he'll jump and he'll just way up there. That's because what will happen is he'll jump and he'll sense that he's in here. And what will happen is he'll repeat until he's not touching and he'll go all the way up. So we need a way to sense if he's going down, then change Y velocity by one until he's flush. If he's going up, change Y velocity by negative one until he's flush. And there's actually a pretty simple way to do that. Okay, first let's go over what absolute value is, or abs. <laughs> it's actually the positive version of a number. So five equals five, because the positive version of five is five. Wow. Negative eight equals eight. Positive version of negative eight is eight. Negative 543 equals 543, because the positive three, I think you understand how it works. Don't overcomplicate it, it's just the positive version of a number. Now, dividing a number by itself always gives you one. So for example, five divided by five equals one. Negative eight divided by negative eight equals one. Negative 543 divided by negative 543 equals one. Blah, 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 they all equal one. So how is this useful? Well, the absolute value of a number divided by the non-absolute value of itself gives you one or negative one 
always. So for example, the absolute version of five is five divided by five equals one. The absolute value of negative eight, which is eight divided by negative eight gives you negative one. The absolute value of negative 543, which is 543 divided by negative 543 gives you negative one. And the last ones are self-explanatory. So this will allow us to determine which way our player should sense based on its velocity. So what we can do is do a division and then put a abs of function inside the division. The first one and do y velocity and then we can divide it by y velocity so what this will give us is if our y velocity is positive then this will give us a one if our v y velocity is negative it will give us a negative one and this will take any number on that spectrum and turn it into our relative players correction value and we know when the player's y velocity is positive it means he's going up so we want to sense negative one and go down but we know when he's falling his y velocity is negative so we want him to sense positive and go up flush so what we actually have to do is times this by negative one and now that we have this algorithm we can just plug it in right here instead of change y by one and now what you will see is our player clashes with with the ceiling like a good lad now we have a problem we can jump and it's gliding all fine but our player just slurp to the ceiling now this is not healthy how can we make him not slurp to the ceiling well right now our only condition for our player to jump or set its y velocity to 15 is it has to be touching the level we only want it to jump when it is going downwards and is touching a level so what we can do is if up arrow pressed and duplicate this not the times negative one just the base algorithm and if this base algorithm is equal to negative one or basically our player's y velocity is negative and the key up arrow is pressed and then he can set its y velocity to 15. If you can see our player can't jump now why is this well because we set the y velocity to zero right here it's no longer equal to negative one because if i were to duplicate this algorithm if y velocity is equal to zero then this it's it's basically dividing by zero it's like stop it with this madness <laughs> So what we do is we have to do an if else statement. So if the up arrow and all of this is true, then we set y velocity to 15. If not, set y velocity to zero. So now, as you can see, we can jump and it collides perfectly. And he is a good dude and he doesn't slurp to the ceiling. Okay, last thing, we are going to right click and edit our block add a number input and do jump height and then we are going to click ok now right here when we platform which is just basically putting all of this code right here um, we are going to put it to 15 and just drag jump height down here. So later when we use jump height, all we have to do is put it in here. Also, what I'm going to do is do a space here and do gravity colon. Then what I'm going to do is delete jump height temporarily and do jump height with a label and then add colon. And then I'm going to add jump height back in. So now, right now, we can see platform gravity and then jump height so this will make it way easier later on okay this is really awesome we have covered the vertical code of our sprite I'll see you in the next part. This video is sponsored by Sansi. You are just the type of good looking person that would enjoy their lights. If you wanna make any type of video and be successful at all, you need some cinematic lighting. My favorite is their outdoor LED light, which is durable, simple, and pardon my language, flippin' bright since it was made for the outside. You can never have too bright, believe me. It's amazing, and it's only 30 bucks. Do you know how hard it is to find prices this good? Look at the different lighting I got just by putting it behind me and turning on its relaxing cyan hill mix. 
plug and play, simple and amazing. Not only does it support me, not only does it support Sansi, it supports you. Most importantly, get yourself a Sansi light. Don't be caught lacking.